Hello and welcome to the very first episode of F1 Manager on my channel where today we are going to be starting our journey as a team principal hopefully it will be a good one not like Binotto, more like Toto Wolf hopefully but we are going to do the grim medal with Mercedes because they're my favourite team and Hamilton and George are my favourite drivers and plus I want to get Mercedes in this championship fight for against Ferrari and Red Bull and return them to their glory where they should be but before we start we are going to scout some drive-ins and of course Daniel Ricciardo in real life is no longer part of McLaren so I'm thinking as a long term replacement Hamilton is 37 he hasn't got that many years left in him so maybe Ricardo could step up and into that role alongside George. I'm also scouting Frederick Vesti as I think he is actually a Mercedes young driver and Felipe Drogovic as well because he's doing very good in F2 in real life currently leading the championship there so it's worth scouting him and then before we start we are we've got some upgrades with the suspension that the game just gives you and we're going to be manufacturing some more parts of them to help us towards start maybe get us towards the front as well so now we have our first task as the team principal we have to decide whether the team wants to party and of course we are going to allow that to kind of boost the morale of the team so the scouts come back with information on Daniel Ricciardo and he is open to negotiations so we'll see how that goes because the game doesn't really know that he's been sacked by so Lewis Hamilton then obviously as I mentioned earlier possible replacement for him but of course a seven time world champion before he retires may take a few seasons hopefully he sticks around but I do want to get him that eighth world title so that's all the admin out of the way let's go to the first race weekend of the career mode to Bahrain I did a little test before I started recording the career mode and I worked out that I'm not very good at practice so we're going to skip all the way to qualifying. Pushing to secure a good starting place in tomorrow's race. Of course all it takes is one momentary lapse of concentration and they can find themselves at the back of tomorrow's grid. There are always risks to be taken but can they afford not to? Stay with us as we see who can deliver on motorsport's biggest stage. So in to qualifying then, and our first one we have Lewis here out onto the track. George is out as well. So just call cool tyres down. And we'll see where he can go. Obviously we should really be aiming for it to get held up by Max Verstappen going into turn 11. And of course this would be coming off the back of Abu Dhabi, we don't need to mention about that. But it is going to cost him a lot of time on his lap as he moves up and into P6. And now this is George coming into the final corner on his first lap. And he got a much cleaner lap than Lewis Hamilton. Back to stop and nowhere to be seen for his lap and up to the line comes George Russell. And he goes second, third fastest. The focus on Sonoda. And there's a mistake by Yuki Sonoda all the way off the track and through the gravel at the final corner. The team are and really the team not with happy that. with that whatsoever. As there's a glitch showing in the background with someone. But now it's towards the end of Q1 then. And there is George blocking Hamilton on his flying lap so not a clean Q1 then for the seven time world champion and he is currently in the drop zone can this lap get him out of it crosses the line up to P10 now we go into Q2 and the two Lewis Hamilton being caught up in it again and up to the line now, getting blocked by the Haas and he goes third fastest then round the final corner comes George then 
Titans at the start of Q2. Heading up to the line he comes and he crosses it and he displaces his teammate to end up into third place. Gasly also split in our two Mercedes boys. As we skip on now through the session we're going to put Lewis on a fresh set of soft compound tyres and the same for George as well. So then as it's the final run for Q2 and who can get free to the shootout. It has not been a good qualifying so far for Lewis. We decided to send him out early just so he generally had a chance of getting some clean laps in. But as you can see Ricardo and Mick Schumacher are out and so is Lando Norris. Both McLarens out then in Q2. Only Lewis Hamilton now can improve as he crumbs, comes up to the line, crosses it and gets himself in to Q3, displacing Kevin Magnussen. And now it's time for the shootout then. Who is going to get pole position? It's very much between the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. As you can see, Leclerc is currently fastest on a 130.9, four thousandths of a second clear of Max Verstappen. Up to the line, this is George Russell on his first lap. Up to the line now, and it's only fifth fastest then. As now we skip on to the very, very final runs, fresh tyres for both, both of our drivers, both Lewis and George. And then let's just see what happens, we're not expecting pole, you can see that Lewis after his lap is currently P7. But here we go now, it is the shootout, the most crucial part of qualifying then, Max Verstappen. 4,000 of a second, it's all he needs to find, you can see Lewis is up in the first sector, George improved in the first sector but he's down in the middle sector, up to the line now, comes Max Verstappen, can he get match pole? No he cannot, can Charles Leclerc improve? Yes he can, here comes Carlos Sainz, can he get on the front row? The answer is no. George up to the line and stays at sixth fastest. Lewis Hamilton now up to the line. Where can he go? Cross the line now. And he moves up into P5. Bottas ahead of George. And then it's Gasly, Alonso and Ocon. Drivers are strapping themselves in. Ready for race day. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. Tonight is a cloudy one and there's a good chance of rain. The teams will have to be flexible with their strategy for the race. And there's going to be a lot for the teams to handle. So will the drivers and their cars be able to cope with the pressure? Let's find out right here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. So then, it's time for the race. We're going to be splitting the strategies. Lewis on the one stop, we're going to be doing the two stop for George. Split the strategies and hopefully something can happen. George, soft to medium, back to the soft. We're going to do the one stop with Hamilton though, as he is ahead. We might as well go aggressive with George, being those couple of positions back to his teammate. We need to get ahead of Bottas, but here we go then to the race. We're now lined up on the grid, and here we've got Lewis Hamilton. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for. But we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here we can see Russell. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. The race start is mere seconds away. And this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go! So we're racing now in Bahrain. Can Hamilton get a good start? Can George get past Valtteri Bottas into turn one? It's Leclerc and Verstappen side by side. 
and Leclerc stayed ahead. Hamilton you now doesn't get past the George. Managed to, to get past Valtteri Bottas. That's exactly what we needed at the start here. Yeah. But it's still Leclerc who leads from the stepping signs. Perez and Hamilton and now George Russell ahead of Valtteri Bottas. Exactly what we needed. But now that just kind of puts us in a position because we need George to grow aggressive and also Hamilton to play the long game. So ideally we should probably swap them around so we're going to tell Hamilton to just chill out a little bit and look after these tyres, lift them close a bit more. But you'll see that because this was, I did do a couple of test races. I really can't make up my mind, I'm basically Ferrari at this point, but as this career goes on, hopefully we'll be better at it. Right, push hard now. Coming. We're going to tell George to push, because he has got factory bottles all over the back. If we've been on those soft tyres, we really do need him to get the hammer down. As you can see, the top four are absolutely gone. And now Bottas, though, is now pressurising George. That's not good. We need him to stay ahead. Bottas, though, a little bit too far back going into turn one. But he's going to have a second bite of the cherry going up into turn four. Three turns, three and four. Two, two, two and three. We go now. He has the DRS. We're telling now George to just breathe a little bit as George is looking at Lewis Hamilton. We need to swap these two around, as we do swap them around, you can see we've let him through, George now ahead of Hamilton, and now possibly George can now get away, use these tyres, as they're not that far in the right, as Verstappen has overtaken Charles Leclerc, as it's now Red Bull, Ferrari, Ferrari, Red Bull, and now we're going to tell George to push and try and get away. And possibly catch those top guys because Popperson isn't really an issue on this game unlike in real life as Charles Leclerc really takes the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix Carlos Sainz now trying to overtake um, Max Verstappen Sainz on the outside it looks like Verstappen has just stayed ahead and he has both of got DRS but Sainz now coming under pressure from Perez and he stays ahead as in the background now, the our two boys are really going at it, but this is so frustrating. VSC, VSC. As there's a virtual safety car now. now and this is our this. big Here's first Gasly. option, what has happened here. Gasly's gone wide and hit the Alpine of Alonso and then everyone's just parked up. Well, he hasn't really lost any position goals. from that, but there is a bit of front wing on the track bringing out that VSC and there wasn't really much point pitting either of them because it is so early on in the Grand Prix we're just going to lose time VSC ending. this is what I mean you can see there I skipped on a little bit and Hamilton is back ahead of George because George just didn't really have any pace and they were just fighting each other I told him not to fight but this they they just keep matching each other's pace, which isn't very helpful because I really need one of them to get away. And with Bottas lurking in the wings, this is more, we're turning more into bot into racing Bottas than we are possibly racing the front guys. You can see the gap. There's now George is going to re overtake him because we are going to tell Lewis Hamilton to let him by. Because we need him to we need him to get ahead and Hamilton does let him through that he's still racing his teammate. I'm sure this wouldn't go down so well being stuck this season in real life, but I think we've got we've got to we really have to kind of stamp what we are going to do as a team principal as Joe goes wide. And will they be able to recover? We'll see. <laughs> This game is too much. This something like that happens. He didn't even go off the track. 
But now Bottas is pressurizing Hamilton as we are telling Hamilton to preserve his tyres. And George has started to pull away a bit now as we tell him to look after his tyres because. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. But this is Bottas now. Has overtaken Lewis Hamilton. Bottas also on the soft tyres. And that's not good, that's not what we wanted. But George has managed to get away. But Lewis is going to come out with his former teammate. And really overtakes Valtteri Bottas. That's what we needed. We just need to stay ahead now of the Finnish driver. As Hamilton goes defensive to the inside, he's defending fresh air and he's just let Bottas absolutely fly down the racing line and back into P6. As Lewis Hamilton says we're losing, damn right, you need to stay ahead man. But Bottas is on a roll because George being conservative, he's just blitzed both of us and that is not what we needed. Because, I don't know, Bottas' his tyres has looked after him, which he never seemed to do when he's at Mercedes. And I think we've just, George has pushed his tyres a little bit too much. And this is what I mean, we saw how far ahead George got. And now Hamilton's left right behind him. We thought about boxing him, I decided against it because we really, we needed to get into this race a bit more. But now I feel that they're kind of just holding each other up unless George can really overtake the finish driver. Yes he can, as Bottas is really overtaken by his Mercedes replacement. But back up top, it's all going on as Leclerc really takes the lead. Perez has overtaken um, Sainz. And now Perez sends it on Max Verstappen. The two Red Bulls side by side. And Perez is absolutely done. His teammate around the outside. And there's been a lock of now by Sebastian Vettel. He's gone out miles off the track. And he's parked in the, in the middle of the desert there, rather than the racetrack. What a shame. But here it comes Bottas again, re really overtaking George Russell. This isn't good. This style for Romeo is incredible. George only needs clean now. Well, well, you had it, mate. You just let him through. But is he going to re-overtake Bottas now? I think if we boxed him onto the mediums it would have possibly been a mistake. Because this is looking like a one-stopper as George does re-overtake now. This is turning into a bit of an interesting race now. As Hamilton now tries to go down the inside of Bottas. And he does. Now around the outside he goes. But Bottas just holds on. Crafty, I know, we watched it, but now we're going to skip on a few laps. Now, it's and the pit window for Mercedes. George has opened. Let's see what happened there. Now, let's look at this. Here's George As Russell. George lost out to Bottas and now re overtakes the Finn. This is costing us so much time. So now the team say he's going wheel to wheel. They're not really what we wanted. Hamilton having a look, but George does stay ahead. And now George possibly have a go at Bottas. This is very turning into a, a free horse race on lap 15 of the Grand Prix. And George, is, as I mentioned earlier, we are into his pit window. And on lap 15, we are going to pit him. As I mentioned earlier, onto the on to the mediums was the original strategy, but okay, so box, as box, he is box. told to box. This race is really turning into a one stop race. So we're going to box him onto the hard and just see how far he can go as the Alpha Tari goes off the track there. 
is now here. He comes. George Back Powers Factory Bottas. Listen, there is so much going on in this race. The battle at top Leclerc sitting ahead of Verstappen as Verstappen has re overtaken Perez. But it's now George is in the pits. We're going on to the highs. We'll see how far he can go on them. As how much to know is left, but left battling the, the Alfa Romeo. Bottas also won them on the soft, so we'll see how far we can get them. As out of the pits comes George now in a nice little gap. He's got Gasly behind and a little pack of cars in front of him, but they will pit at the end of this lap and give him some space to push. As you can see, it says that he might just be able to get these tyres to the end if he looks after him. So that's what we're going to say, tell him to do. But now it's kind of where does he come out relative to Bottas when Bottas pits? Because it looks like the Bottas is also trying this strategy as well as Hamilton now can come back at, at Bottas again and. So but he stays, in the pits, he will come ahead five stays seconds. behind as the front runners pit. Perez in the pit lane. So as we're told the Red Bulls are in, I really don't know why we're telling the drivers that because they we are not racing them this evening in Bahrain as Hamilton re overtakes Bottas. Lewis. And Bottas really going a lot longer than I really thought we they could go on those soft tyres as he may overtake Hamilton. This is this is starting to turn into a bit of a frustrating race for us. We just need to clear Bottas and get away. But that Alfa Romeo just works so well around here. And this is as Leclerc is still yet to pit. We've got the front runners behind us. There's um there's Stappen in sights battling away. There's now Hamilton and now we're back to the front row runners now. Bottas into the pits then and now this is Sainz and Verstappen and Sainz re overtakes Max Verstappen which is really going to help out his teammate Charles Leclerc is currently leaving his race and I believe he is still yet to pit as Bono tells Lewis that Bottas is indeed in the pits. Pretty sure he could have seen that by himself. He was behind him. The side to head, which is really going to help, but you can see now Bottas is going to come out ahead of George Russell and not by a tiny margin. I think we may have messed up telling George to look after the tyres so quickly because I think that has ended up costing him time to the fin and he has come out quite a far back as this Hamilton was still extended his stint and he has been caught by Sainz and Verstappen and has been overtaken by up a place there. the Spaniard it's as now Verstappen not for the first time like has fresher tyres than Hamilton as there's a spin a by the Alpine as we're going to skip on now and here comes Carlos Sainz Lewis may have re-overtaken somewhere I missed that while skipping on and Sainz has re-overtaken him as uh, the team's very, the team. very we'll annoyed about that. We're, as we'll I mentioned see. earlier, we're not racing them, so we're just seeing how far these tyres can go. There's now Leclerc, Verstappen now leads, signed second, and now round the outside, Charles Leclerc goes. It's only this was for legit places as he pulls it accidentally there. And 22 laps on these tyres, as you can see, I did tell. Lewis not to battle George. We are going to turn that off. As you can see now, the gap between Bottas and George. Bottas now got much fresher tyres. As this is Perez and Hamilton. As Perez overtakes. So Lewis, Hamilton then. And we're just going to skip on now. We just, as I mentioned earlier, see how far we could get the tyres. as Hamilton has locked up and ran wide at turn 10 and now we can they see a replay of what happened going down into the tricky turn 10 and he's just ran wide not really wide he's just 
put a pixel of his tyre onto the curb and now everyone's freaking out in the pit in the pit lane but now we are going to make the pit stop for Lewis Hamilton onto the hard tyres he's managed to get these these mediums about half race distance and he had some really good pace as he was keeping up with Perez even though Perez was on much 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 newer tyres as Magnus has locked up did what Vettel did just just um not as far around the track as Lewis now into the pits to put on the hard tyres and of course he is going to come up behind Bottas and we'll see where he comes out relative to George as George is coming around at the final corner as now he comes towards the end of the pit lane through goes Bottas and now where is he going to come out to George he is going to come out miles clear of George and you can see the amount of time George has lost to Bottas I think sadly we've done a Ferrari and we have kind of taken George out of this race almost but now Bottas on old tyres, George on old dirt tyres, Hamilton now on pretty on very very fresh tyres that can go to the end as Joe goes wide Hamilton should have the pace to catch Bottas if he is going to the end hopefully as this is Joe, he's locked up and, and gone off the track and one corner later he's done the exact same thing again this is Bottas to Hamilton to George and George not that far back Verstappen is boxing as he's told Verstappen's boxing I don't know why because he's about half a lap behind Max Verstappen but I think as this is Bottas making his second stop of the day so Bottas is two stopping relative to us and us two doing the one stop so where is Hamilton had the tyre advantage on lap 41 Bottas comes out on fresh soft tyres and now can hunt after us too he's come out pretty much right behind George Russell and as we can see here it is not taking him long to clear George but has the Finn got the group got the tyre life to catch Lewis Hamilton because he got those soft tyres quite far so really would he be able to keep them alive long enough but I was looking at the gap George was in no man's land so, box, box. so I thought we might as well box him he has the gap behind to rest the banner on so it's a free pit stop he might as well he's not raising anyone really so it's just a free pit stop we might as well so I'm going to put him on to a set of the mediums because we didn't have any fresh sets of soft tyres so for the remaining 11 laps he can just push Ocon also in the background there has pitted as well and now relative where he's going to come out to Alonso and Lando Norris as Lando battling him and he comes out where I expected only just ahead of these two there's now this is Lando and Alonso Lando trying find a way through on Alonso and now we're going to tell George to push on these tyres the the Sonoda. Sonoda now, oh, Sonoda spins now? out right in front of his teammates as well, that could not, Romeo, that could have, could have been nasty as there's this. Bottas the down the inside Romeo of Hamilton at turn 4 and through he goes through 5 and 6 and it was only a matter of time before that was going to happen they make it look so easy. Just watch but the Lewis Hamilton, here. fair play to him because he had the pace to keep up with the Finn and his former teammate to really overtake him so those hard tyres weren't giving up and Lewis Hamilton has a very very nice right foot to keep his tyres alive but it wouldn't be long before Bottas really overtook him again this is like deja vu from the start of the race and this has really been where our race has been with Bottas but now on to the final lap 
and there is VSC, VSC. another VSC, Correct. and it's the most pointless time to box. <coughs> and this is why there is a VSC, because it's science, and this is because Verstappen has run wide and come back onto the track and driven straight into the side of Carlos Sainz, controversial on the last lap of the Grand Prix, but Charles Leclerc is going to win the opening race, and it's a race to the line between Sainz and Verstappen, and Verstappen stayed ahead just. But it's a win for Charles Leclerc, redemption from 2019. Okay. So there we have the As this is Alonso, he has lost out to Lando, to and everyone's locking up on that corner or spinning. But in the end, Hamilton, the soft tyres of Bottas so fell off, and it's a great drive by Lewis Hamilton. George Russell, we really... George Russell, we really did take him out of the race, unfortunately. Ferrari strategy. But it's our first race, so please let me off with that one. He's gonna come home for P7. Lewis Hamilton did okay here today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. Yes, there's no doubt that they have what it takes. I can't wait to see which direction they go in for the next race. That's right, and they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. The teams now look ahead to the next round, where they'll duel it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. So yeah, that's been the first race of the career mode, and for a very, very good one. Bit of a nightmare at the start, obviously. Hamilton and George not very helpful that they, that they were on two different tyre compounds and matching each other's pace. The cloud losing championship, Ferrari lead the constructors, they have grown a little bit there, I don't really understand that, I'm still getting to grips with this game. But we are going to do an upgrade on the front wing before we go in this video. I may just do this in the background so these videos aren't as long. So we're going to do some winter hours and design a new front wing that should hopefully come in the near future. But that has been the very very first episode of the F1 Manager Career Mode with Mercedes. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in Saudi Arabia. Goodbye.